Weddings have long been an occasion for extravagance. Modern weddings have become a chance for young women to live out the fantasy of being a princess for a day. An elegant gown and elaborate hairstyle, attendants in color-coordinated dresses, bouquets of flowers, an abundance of food, and lots of celebrating with friends and family contribute to the fairy tale atmosphere. Many parents start saving early so that they can afford the high cost of making their daughter's dream come true. And royal weddings take extravagance to a level that we commoners seldom see. But in 1981, many of us got a peek at one when the wedding of Prince Charles and Princess Diana was broadcast worldwide. Another royal wedding is in the planning stages, and it will be more elaborate than any other. But this wedding, the most important person will be the groom, Christ himself, and we, the church, will be his bride. John's revelation says that the bride will make herself ready and that our wedding gown will be our righteous acts. Though earthly marriages last only a lifetime, every bride works hard to make her wedding perfect. How much more, as the bride of Christ, should we be doing to prepare ourselves for a marriage that will last for eternity? Good deeds don't make a Christian, but a Christian does good deeds.